that's their pigeon issue. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Oh, I've been hyping up this video because I've been hype about it. Uh, one of the coolest things as far as pigeon trapping goes so far. Uh, welcome back, guys. And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to all my pigeon trapping fans, pigeon hunting fans, all you guys that are here for the pigeon lofts and everything that help me keep, honestly, the videos going all summer long until hunting season gets back. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we got big news, and this is the day I've been hyping up, the day I've been talking about, the day that I just can't believe come true, to be honest with you. A little backstory, my buddy uh, Adam got a hold of me. He's like, Bob, you need to get a hold of the Cosmosphere because they have a pigeon issue. He was like, there's hundreds up there right now. I was like, oh yeah, I remember my buddy Jackson telling me that they have a, a pest control company and they were trying to take care of them and they eventually gave up so I gave him a call, he got me hooked up, and here we are, the Cosmos Fair. They are very delighted to have me here. Up on that roof up there, look, you can see a bunch of them sitting right there. You guys probably can't, but I can. Uh, they got a major issue. The Cosmos Fair um, is a space museum. It's not only a space museum, but they do a bunch of learning programs, a bunch of uh, all kinds of stuff. Summer programs, adult programs, kid programs, literally all the above. It's a great place and I'm, uh, I'm pretty proud to be able to do this. Not a lot of people would get the opportunity, right? Enough blabbing, I'm gonna show you around a little bit, give my little spiel on the Cosmosphere because it is here in my hometown and it's near and dear to my heart because I have uh, been in this place so many times whether it's watching movies on the IMAX or having field trips so the Kansas Cosmos Fair hosts an average of 150,000 people per year it also houses over 13,000 space artifacts including one of the largest collection of Russian artifacts in the world here is the SR-71 Blackbird one of the coolest things to see when I was younger I remember them uh, toting this plane down the road and uh, it was crazy they had it sideways dodging trees and the whole town came out to see it as they uh, put it in the building and everything it was really cool <sighs> okay well I gotta put the camera down we're inside here as you can tell I gotta find my guy Mike Mike is the maintenance manager and he's awesome he showed me around when I initially came in this place but as you can see the place is huge. It's got halls everywhere, passages, doors. I can't even remember the door. Basically, I just have to find my way up to the uh, up to the roof, and then I will show you what all's going on and uh, the pigeon problem that they have, and why it's a nuisance, and why I'm here to help them out. There are pigeons everywhere up here. I don't know if you can see that guy chilling right there. Whew. But when I open the door to get on the roof. I bet you 50 pigeons got up off of all this. Check it out, we're up here. This is where they roost in the shade as you can see all the poop, all the poop, all the poop, all the poop underneath there. Look at that. I haven't got to look around here very much. I don't know what we might run into. Uh, I don't see any eggs under there. I don't think they're necessarily like living and roosting but they gather all day. Let's check up here. There are so many different rooftops. Yeah, let's just go up here first. That uh, I, don't, I don't honestly know where to start. <laughs> Here's the main rooftop. There's my trap there. Then you go up that ladder. That's the highest point. They like to sit there and I've really scouted it out the last few years, you know. And up there, that's a long pitched roof. Yes, there's a bunch of poop up there. Whenever you drive by, that's where they're landing. So those are the two main spots. Look. <laughs> oh yeah. They use the old owl decoy trick. That ain't working, is it? Nope. They tried everything to uh, get rid of the pigeons, and uh, that's why I'm here. We're going to make a dent in them. Um, the main thing I'm worried about, uh, to having success, 
this right here where my trap is it's nothing but rock as well and usually as you all know most of my rooftops they're tall rooftops and they're black that means the the yellow corn stands out really well now right here i kind of chose a spot that's kind of bare but they put these rocks up here to help protect that tar rooftop and i'm just i'm hoping that the birds will see my bait drop a comment down below should i a few things i thought about actually i actually i, I got an idea oh all them birds just got up from right here this might be the place dad gum it's so high up here so there's my trap down there yet yep that's gonna be the move i got an idea whoa this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about they're everywhere big old bunches i really want to put my trap up here should i put it up here or down there you tell me wow yep that's their pigeon issue <laughs> there's a lot of pretty ones a lot of color in it yep that's why we're here boys and gals <laughs> I am ready for winter. Well, I am not the biggest fan of heights and this ladder situation. <sighs> yeah, she's a, she's a big girl. Uh, we're up here on the highest point that we can actually set a trap. Uh, the, basically the tallest, flattest point. And this is where the pigeons where I just filmed where we spooked them up. This is where they want to be. Look at all of the bird poop. And when I say bird poop on this ledge, the whole thing around this entire deal is lined with bird poop. Now, my original deal was like, man, the rocks. Yeah, I found these black, I don't know what they are. They're like a tar mat, roof mat, whatever you want to call them. So I put them together in a big circle. And now you can really see the corn stand out on the black. And then I baited this whole edge right here. Not a lot, just enough to get their attention because look at this corner. It's just, it's nasty. Nasty now. They love being right here. Absolutely love being right here. So I hope this is the spot. Cross your fingers. If you guys like this video right now, please just smash a thumbs up for me. I made it happen. We're on three roofs now in my hometown and my hometown has just a huge issue as you guys can see with pigeons and this is just an awesome place the causes fair is awesome uh here's the uh, high school slash college uh football field track field that over there that's where i went to high school it's pretty neat the town the town likes bobby guy films and it makes me pretty proud but wish us luck if you have any comments right now guys uh like i said check it out there's big rooftop there, rooftop there, over there, over here, and then they got another rooftop down below, like a basement deal, and uh, they go in there during the winter and nest. So if you have any recommendations that would help me, be greatly appreciated because this is a big job. Big job, I need help, I'm not gonna lie. If we don't catch them like right off the bat up there, I'm gonna pull that trap because again, I am not good with heights. Um, I only have one large trap. That trap right there, I think it cost me like $170 off the internet. Uh, drop a comment down below. Do you think I'm going to need more traps, more than one? My thing is concentrating on the one spot that they want to be most and just running one trap, one food source. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they'll all just get to know that that one area is the only place where they can get that food. So we trap more of them. Drop a comment down below, give me your two cents. But we're gonna get on the road here. I hope I covered enough for you. Uh, obviously haven't trapped anything yet, but we have three spots to check now. Let's get to the other two. I can hear pigeons. That guy was right there. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I could have caught him. 
Any water? Oh, that butt, that bad boy bone dry. Look at this, so yeah. What do we got in here? We got a really black bird, really young. What do we got? They're going crazy. Anything special? No band, no band, all young. I can tell you right now, all young. But four in the bag, we're gonna get them out of here. I originally left uh, two bait birds in here, but as you can tell, it is so humid. This is one of the most humid days that we've had in a very long time. And the one thing you gotta worry about with pigeon trapping in these types of conditions is the birds dying because of no water. Uh, the owners of this place say, they let me kind of do what I want too. So they have a little bathroom downstairs right when I came in. I refilled my uh, three, four water bottles so we can fill up this water feeder as well. Let's get them out. This guy looks pretty interesting. What are you, dude? Come here. He looks really nice. No, nope. okay. Man, he had a good looking head on him. He's just a lot more adult than the others, but a good looking blue bar. Oh, this is the issue. Refilling water bottles in the summertime. Uh, using this little five gallon bucket here, don't have a lot of room for, you know, a, like a milk jug. It would get really heavy carrying that bad boy around. So, good thing is on the Cosmos Fair on the new roof, the maintenance guy, Mike, just informed me that there's a water spigot on top of the roof with a hose that I can use whenever. I didn't know that. And that's gonna be awesome. All right, as far as the other three go, let's see what they're all about. Come here, buddy. First one up, blue bar, good looking blue bar, really young, look at the face on him. You can tell by the beak, the eyes, young bird. No bands on him, I bet he just hatched this spring. All, it doesn't matter for pigeon hunting or pigeon trapping. All we do now, this year, is kill and catch the young ones. If you guys have never seen pigeon hunting, you gotta go watch my other videos if you're new to the channel. Again, my town has a huge, huge pigeon issue. And for those business owners, it's nasty. They poop all over everything. There's a blue check. Good looking young bird. All of them are young. All the adult ones have gotten just smart to us uh, trying to hunt them, trying to trap them, everything. But it's a huge issue in my town. Um, they're nasty. And like I said, business owners want them gone, you know? Oh my goodness. It is so hot outside. Right now it is sitting at only 92 degrees, but the humidity is 60 percent this guy right here is staring at me I guarantee he knows who i am uh 60 humidity it's unreal i stink absolutely reek this whole shirt's soaked i don't know how many of my waterfowl duck hunters all of my hunters watch these video I, I hope a lot of you do if you do and you are ready for october Drop a comment down below and say, yes, sir, I am ready. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Ooh. I don't know what to think about this. So I didn't bring this up on the last video. The last video up here was we caught the predator, right? Look at that. It's definitely been moved. This is all bent. Huh. What I'm getting at, that's all right. Huh. So, what I didn't bring up, when I had the trail camera up here, it was sitting right here. So it got that view that way, and there was someone else up here. All I could see is they had black Vans tennis shoes on. And it, to me, looked like a younger individual. Um, what I'm getting at, I mean, I should be catching a bunch of pigeons. 
and I'm not. I really am not. Look at that. Someone's been up here a bunch. Whoever drinks Mango Loco uh, Monsters. I just hope my trap isn't getting messed with. If you all think that I should leave the trap up here on this roof and keep running it and put a trail cam back up here, drop a comment down below. Or if you think, you know what, Bob, with all the other competition, which this guy, he has not been up here. I don't know who it is, but he has not been up here. That trap has been unbaited, untouched all summer long. Or if you think I should take the trap off here and take it to the new spot, or leave this one here and just buy another one for the new spot, what should I do? This roof between the predators eating my birds, between possible intruders, and it just not performing like it should, man. Drop a comment, help your boy out. I'd greatly appreciate it. This roof, man, I've caught a lot of pigeons on, but uh, man, something's just not working now, you know? Maybe all the other pigeons seen their bu buddies getting dead and attacked by that cat. If you didn't see the last one, I caught the predator and on, on camera and it was a cat. I believe a normal house cat. Yeah, no one, hardly, I don't think anybody guessed that in the comment section on the video before that when I was like, hey, guess what you think's in here? A cat? It literally stunned me. It hasn't cooled off. Just got done mixing feed. Between being sweaty and mixing feed, uh-huh, I'm nasty. I'm ready for a shower, but four in the bag. There we go. Uh, not a bad day, right? Uh, again, that trap, I left two bait birds in there the last time and gained two, so not bad odds. As far as the truck stop goes, guys, I'm just doubting the place more and more. It uh, did really good off the beginning, and I trapped a lot of young birds, but I have yet to trick and get into any type, any type of adult pigeon. Again, that's hunting and trapping. It's crazy. Well, here we go. Looking good. Uh, what are we at now? I think we're right at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 20, 21. 21 total uh, feral pigeons. And then we still got our normal eight or so uh, in the loft. You guys have been asking for a loft update. Uh, I think we have almost solved the snake problem um those two boxes don't have any uh eggs in them but like usual we do back here check it out how are you guys doing hello right here oh yeah we got two in the oven so i listened to you all about the snake issue check it out i took you gotta you gotta let me know does this trick work with chicken eggs you guys told me to go get a minnow trap, so I did. Look, I got it leashed right here to the cage so it can't move. I got an egg sitting right in the middle of it, like you guys told me to do. Now, does it need to be a smaller egg, like a pigeon egg? Or will snakes eat a chicken egg? Drop a comment down below and please let me know. I got plenty of chicken eggs. I really don't want to waste a baby pigeon egg on a snake, but... As of right now, I can tell we've got them all taken care of for the main part. Once we start losing eggs or babies again, we'll know. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can tell throughout this whole video, I've been so pumped about the Cosmos Fair. Uh, I feel very, very, um, I mean, honestly, fortunate to be invited up there uh, to take care of their issue. Now, one thing about it, I know you guys are probably asking, are they paying you, Bobby? No, they are not paying me to do it. Um, they did pay a bunch of money for pest control, uh, but it just wasn't working out. And the type of pest control was like the hawk and maybe some other various methods, but it just wasn't working out. And so now we're actually going to take care of their issue and trap them and bring them home. Uh, there's a bunch of pretty ones, so stay sticking around, stay 
tuned and please subscribe because if you don't subscribe you're not going to be up to date on what's going on I'm going to uh, north dakota here real soon to go shoot some honkers but i'm going to get these bad boys in here and we will see y'all on the next one hope you guys enjoyed it it's been fun y'all but until next time